Hello and welcome to part three. Well, that was one of your worst golf shots I've ever seen you hit, Pete. I know. Club almost came out, man. I think so much sunscreen on my right hand there. <laughs> Greasy sun cream hand. Greasy sun cream hand. So that was a semi sky. I'm in play. Good. It's be a long approach in. So this is part three of our match down here with Rick Shields. Hello. Go subscribe with myself. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Pitsy, just download the app. We go around, so left, 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 coming left. Yeah, shot. Yeah, nice. Quite a bit more just, left, it's okay. a bit more left than that. Take a shot. So it's not bad guys, we're down here at the Magilis, there we go. Done. Magilis, I finally got it. And look at this for a backdrop. Look at, just look at that. Is it pretty nice? Like if you actually think that doesn't look real. It's like we're playing in the Truman Show. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we got around this corner. Yeah, of all three of us there, Ben. Trusty hybrid. Straight over that corner. Yeah, perfect. Straight over the corner of that bunker. Fantastic shot, mate. So even Pete's bad shots only just missed the fairway. But he's actually missed it short. That's the start of the fairway. He's hit it that bad. It's one of the first times I've actually missed the fairway. <laughs> he's 246 yards. He's going to hit his trusty one iron. When in, it's rather worrying when you have to say, when in doubt, let's hit the one iron. The pin is just over that corner. I don't want to show it you too well from this view. Just tugged it a bit left. Yeah. Tugged it a touch left. So Ben, 204 to the pin. She's down there. A bit of a gap in the middle, mate. So if you want to run it in the middle of there. Just in the right hand bunker, I think. Yeah. Inevitable. Inevitable. It's <laughs> inevitable. So Rick just ran off the fairway. 183, what do you got, buddy? Little seven. Seven. The down slope. It's tough to stop on the green. That's come out hot. Really hot. Really hot. Did it come out of the back? Ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, the, the way that took off was like a flat flight. <laughs> Not a lot of backspin on that. So Pete's got pin high here with the one dog. Got a little bunk to navigate to the pin that's just tucked over there. Uh, you need to use all of the green here, Pete, I would say. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm not quite, I've not really judged the actual um, distance on this chip and did that very well yet. Looks nice. Good use of the green. Good use of the slope. And considering you've hit two not great golf shots, you've got that for par. So Rick has got an absolute mile through. It's a seven eye, it's probably got about 250 yards. Played it all the way up and he's played. Oh. Must have got a lot of spin out of the waddy. Where Pete finished up. Bit of foam marking. Not many saves yet. Will uh, be helpful. Oh, so close. So close. Can't quite read them. No. It's tough, isn't it? So 5-5. Five, five. Just saying, right, your 7 iron there, what, 250? <laughs> Absolutely massive, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the safe part. It's 
stay on. Right, right, that. right guys, so we've actually just jumped over to the 16th. We played the 15th, which is just a little par three, but just because of uh, we needed to catch up with the group in front, um, we all hit the green. Well, actually, Ben just missed, but made a great up and down. Yeah, me and Pete just plopped it on. Boring, really, because we were on camera. Part four, slight doggly dog around the, to the left hand side this time. Yeah, another good hit. Leave the driver in the bag, Ben. You made it. You could do it with the distance, but. Oh, yeah, actually, it's just uh, it's got through the wadding and ran through onto the fairway. It's onto the fairway. So, Rick, trusty three? Yeah, I just. I feel like. A few times hitting driver down these holes, you're going to run out of space. I was going to say, I'm going to go three as well. I think if I don't sky it, it should be the right club. I'm going to aim at the building, the small building on the right, and then draw it back in. Okay. The small building on the right. <laughs> yeah, called it. Nice shot. Should be right that. Yeah, middle of the fairway. Sure. Thank we, you. We try to go a little bit more left than yeah. that, or I, I started it on the, I finished it on the ball, the building that wanted to start it on. So I'm gonna probably try and do the same. Keep it away from the moon. Yeah. We're just trying to work out. And you know what? And I don't mind showing, don't mind showing it on the video because if you're paying that much for advertisement, you deserve to uh, be advertised. How much do you reckon that would cost? I just love the tagline, the curious mind knows no boundaries. It's got to be a million a month. Right, three wood. Pierre. Right. Smooth swing again. Well, better than last time, please. Smooth swing. Yeah, good hit. Same line as mine. Same line as mine. Right, Hacker. Right. You found the fairway. Just. 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 209 yards left into this pin position. Uh, it's straight down in between. It's actually in between the gap of the two buildings there. Straight down, and the pin is there, I think. Oh, I love that flight. Just to the left of that gap that we talked about, but it was a great shot. Well done, bud. That's a few parachutes got like in between the buildings. <laughs> it's been a world of trouble. Right, fair way. Which is nice. Certainly with this approach shot into the screen. <laughs> it's when you want to be hitting the fairway. So I'm going to hit a little eight-time, 145 yards. I'm going to kind of tickle it into that front pin. Oh, it's left. What was that reaction? <laughs> Awful. <laughs> That's going to be a slow mo reaction alone. So, I think we've just got about over 130, so I'm just going to try and get a high smashing wedge and land in it soft, if at all possible. Yeah, great shot. Sure, Pete. Good. So I'm pretty pleased with my approach there. I'm going to have about an eight footer left, Ben. Just coming up the slope and onto the green. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a great shot from there, buddy. Very, very good. All right, it's got a much more difficult time of this. Can't quite tell, but it's a big kind of slope coming down to the pin there. It's got to go high, land soft, and then go in. Beautiful shot, buddy. Pete, after that wonderful approach for birdie. Right, come on. It's going in this one. Not putted well today, but.
Oh, it's Whoa. cold, man. Come on. Have a roll at it. So for par? Yep. To make one of these. We're not really keeping track of Ben's handicap here. He might be storming it. What a solid putt. That's Good job, that hit. What a that solid putt. That's how you hold them. Uh, superb putt, that mate. Superb par. So Rick for an awesome up and down. Great up and down that, but Thank fantastic you. up and down. Right guys, so that is the end of part three. We have two holes to finish with, and I'm three over. What are you, Rick? One. One over. Yeah. Ben? I am three over. Ben's three over. He's playing really, really well, three Ben. Over gross. Last three holes, what are you for this part? Oh, uh, for filming part. For filming. Six. Six. Okay, Still pretty good. Still pretty good. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave you with this little teaser shot. So as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check Rick out. Subscribe. Follow us on our social media platforms. Platforms. <laughs> and download Pin Seekers. <laughs> Uh, download Pinseekers for everybody who would like it in English. <laughs>